video is for our two year old's room for June week four. How the heck is it almost July already? I am not sure. But this month, our memory verse is, I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. And our bottom line is, who can trust God? I can trust God. So all month long, we've been learning about trusting God. We learned about John 3, 16, and then Jericho, and then Gideon. And this week, we are hearing the story of Elijah and the fire. And our bottom line, our story focus is, God can do anything. So what this story is all about, God can do anything. We end the month learning about trusting that God can do anything, even something like send fire down to an altar. Elijah totally trusted God and told everyone around him that God is the one true God and they should trust him too. We want our preschoolers to know that they can press play and trust that God is the one true God and he has the power to do anything. So this week, our leader guide, one of the little interactivities that you can do um, up here, you have a teddy bear, a baby doll, a t-shirt, and I will be bringing in a shoe and a big construction truck, a big dump truck. Oh, we might have a toy truck in here that I'll put up here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put the items just kind of around the room, and you're going to call each item one by one and ask the kiddos to work together to find it. So you're going to say, I'm missing a few things, and I hope you guys can help me. Can you guys work together and find my one teddy bear? Wow, there it is. Can you find my one truck? There it is. So you're kind of emphasizing the one because today we're talking about there's one true God. And then you're going to say, great, great job. You guys are good helpers. Today we're going to hear a story about the one true God. And um, you can walk to large group holding up one finger just to kind of remind kids. Another interactivity that you can do is called who does what. So you've got all these little people that are standing up on these little paper towel tubes. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to encourage kiddos to play with the people. You can kind of gather them in a circle together and maybe sit on the floor in a big circle and talk about each of the people. And then um, you're going to pick the king out and you're going to introduce the king last. So let's see. You're going to introduce, and he looks oddly different than all the other ones. Um, so you're going to introduce the king last. So you're going to say, so come look at these fun little people that we have to play with today. Maybe pass one out to each of the kids and have them talk. And then um, I'm going to pick up a person and I want you to tell me who they are and what do they do. And then, wow, that's an important job. We have one last person to introduce and this is a king. And a king rules over lots of people. And today we're going to hear a story about a king just like this king. Okay. So those are the two interactivities you can do before you head to large group. After large group, what you're going to do is maybe gather all the kids around and ask who can tell them the memory verse and have them help you say the memory verse, practice it. And then once you call them up and they say it, you can give them these are little stickers that have the memory verse on them and you can give each kiddo a sticker. And so practice saying it together a few times and then maybe call kids up one at a time and have them say it. Then the next activity is called Just Like Elijah. So while you're gathered in a circle, um, you've got these supplies. You're going to use these toilet paper tubes to kind of be the logs of your fire. You've got some water, and then you've got some fire right here. And so you're going to talk about how we can trust God because God can do anything. And you're going to say, okay, friends, we're going to pretend to be Elijah from our story today. And Elijah wanted everyone to see that God is the one true God, and God can do anything. But first... He built an altar. So maybe call up a couple of friends. Um, Lola and Arbert, can you help me use these blocks to build a little altar, like a little fire pit? So first he built an altar. Next, he poured water all over the altar. So let's pretend that this confetti is water and we're gonna pour it over our altar. So then you're gonna pour it. Of course, kids are gonna think that's so fun because it's confetti. And then you're gonna say, and maybe I will get you a tray to do this on. That way all the confetti goes on the tray and it will be easy to dump back in the thing. And then you're going to say, then Elijah prayed to God and asked him to show everyone that he was the one true God by sending fire to the altar. And God did. God sent fire to the altar. So let's pretend that this paper is our fire and we're going to put it on the altar. And then you're going to say, Elijah trusted that God is the one true God and he can do anything. And we can trust God too. So tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yay. All right. Then the next little activity that you can do is called run to the heart. So all over the room, you have these little heart squares. So definitely try to encourage kids to not play with them before group. So hopefully they stay intact for a second service. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to play one of the songs using the iPad. 
And then um, you'll stop the song. So you'll just have to like turn it back to the main page that has like the press play thing. And you're going to challenge kids to run to a heart on the floor. And once they get there, say, I can trust God. And then you're going to turn the music on again and say, oh, when the music stops, you're going to run to a heart. And we're going to say, I can trust God. So maybe have them run to a heart and say, who can trust God? I can trust God. So that's it for that to me. Then the last thing that you're going to do, yes, is your craft. And you're going to make a little headband or we're going to make crowns with um, God Loves Me Hearts. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to say, we heard a great story today about God's love. And we're going to make a little headband. So you're just going to color these in with crayons. Just let the kids color them or also have these little heart stamps that they can use and they can stamp on these. And obviously you're going to put your name on there. And then we've got this whole bucket of crowns. So you're just going to tape or staple um, the heart to the front of the crown and then the kids can use those as crowns. So you're going to say, in our story today, we heard about a man named Elijah. And Elijah trusted God and knew that God could do anything. But King Ahab, the ruler of the land, didn't believe in God. King Ahab believed in a pretend God named Baal. He thought the statue could do anything and that Baal had superpowers. But Elijah knew there was only one true God and everyone needed to know that. So Elijah challenged the king that whichever God could set fire to the altar was the one true God. And the king's altar never caught fire, but Elijah's did. God is so powerful and God can do anything. And when we remember that God can do anything, it helps us trust God. So I can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God. And that is their craft. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for serving in our two and three-year-olds room. You guys are just amazing. Thank you for bringing the energy and love every single week to lay the foundation of faith for these kiddos. So grateful for all of you, and we'll see you on Sunday.